Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's us again, Elias and Sergio. We have um, tonight this AXI power supply from, from Corsair for you. This is the AX1200i power supply and 1200 stands for the watts power that it can deliver. As uh, you know, sometimes Jeremy Clarkson says, more power is always good. Um, it's also uh, very heavy on your electricity bills but these kind of power supplies are all about efficiency and <coughs> you know uh, delivery this particular one is a platinum uh, 80 plus series power supply and can deliver up to 94 percent of efficiency uh, with you know very silent fan so it's um, a great performer it has a seven years warranty from Corsair, so uh, you can imagine that only the top quality components and uh, parts were used to build this power supply. So um, it can deliver up to 1204 continuous power output for your system. Let's open up the box uh, just for you to see. Here is the layout, here is how it looks, how all the internals look of this power supply it's 100% uh, modular with uh, you know all the cables indicated here what we have and how many of those are provided within the box um, let's open up the box some zip ties you know uh, a sticker here powered by Corsair sticker let's see what we have you know for your convenience it's it's a vibration pad so you can use it you know isolation and in your case to make sure that uh, you improve dampening you know uh, powered by Corsair sticker black screws to fix it to your case some zip ties always handy warranty guide the manual Manuel, manuale. So it's for AX 1200i uh, and lower power supply. So it's the, the most powerful of the series. It's kind of one. The standard three pin you know, power cable, quite thick one. And I think it's uh, heavy duty, yes, it's a uh, heavy duty one. Okay, Corsair Link, it's a digital Corsair Link uh, adapter. Uh, you can connect it to your motherboard. It's a USB port here, so I can connect the power supply to your motherboard, not only to power, but also to manage and monitor it. Um, here we have a bag of, full of cables. Oh man, this this is very exciting. Actually, I have never seen a power supply, you know, um, delivered like this in such a uh, such a magnificent uh, bag. It's like you know buying a very expensive watch or something. Uh, this power supply is expensive indeed, but you know, it's always nice to get what you pay for uh, let's put the power supply aside for now and see what cables we have here inside this is also a very nice bag which you can uh, label the AX1200i uh, so you can you know uh, keep them safe somewhere 24 pin motherboard power cable nicely sleeved <coughs> Then here we have the PCI Express 6 plus 2 connector, another PCI Express 6 plus 2 cable, SATA cables, um, we have four of them coming from a single connect connection, another one with four, another one with four, so it's uh, 12 till now another for 16 
16 SATA cables, PCI Express, so it's the third one. Uh, another one, PCI Express, 6 plus 2, 4, so it's for uh, SLI till now. Another one, PCI Express, uh, this one is also PCI Express, I assume, yes. So we have for three-way SLI now. Um, this one is CPU, so it's an ATX cable, 8. <clears throat> and um, another ATX. We have uh, Molex, 4. Uh, another 4. And another 4. So we have 12 Molex ports. And we have... Uh, one and two uh, floppy connectors so if you have floppy then you can do it and here is the cable for Corsair link uh, it's the power so you can power it up connect it like so and connect it to your motherboard <coughs> so we have uh, checked the cables now and accessories now it's time for the power supply itself uh, it says silent operation at low to moderate loads in this mode the fan will not spin so there are some modes when the span as fan will not spin at all um, it's designed so cleverly that you know um, At times it's uh, completely silent so we have a very solid uh, on-off button we have the power connector here um, Corsair AX 1200i uh, logo so whichever way you connect it uh, we install it it's always going to be visible here here is some information regarding the uh, you know uh, the powers the the input power input and the power output maximum load at 30 amps and as I said before it can deliver up to 1204 and a half watts um, combined uh, wattage here we have um, here we have the uh, modular connectors um, as we saw before COM port, motherboard 24 pin connector um, here we have uh, PCI Express and uh, CPU connectors, ATX and here we have the peripheral and SATA connectors for your Molex, SATA and floppy whatever you have, no floppy goes through Molex and self test button here so you can self test it and the fan as I can see it is a 14 inch uh, silent fan running at around 24 to 30 uh, dBs from what I uh, saw on the box so when you are having a strong and uh, powerful CPU uh, and nowadays CPUs uh, apart from the you know extreme ones like Haswell extreme um, they need quite a lot of power around 250 watts and around 300 plus when overclocked and if you drop in two, three, four video cards, especially dual GPU cards, then you need a lot of power. Uh, 1200 watts is uh, an overkill uh, uh, nowadays because the cards are very efficient and even the GTX 980, for example, uses uh, rated from 150 to 200 watts, even overclocked. So if you have four of those, it's 80. 800 uh, watts plus your CPU so only if you run quad channel uh, quad SLI uh, with, it, it gets a bit more tricky with uh, uh, ATI AMD uh, cards because they use more power um, the current gens for example the 290X card uses around 250 watts so you need 1000 to run quad uh, crosswire anyway this 
power supply is very efficient and even though it's uh, 1200 uh, watts it's not gonna draw 1200 watts from your system it's gonna deliver the amount you need sm smoothly and uh, nicely you know when you need it so when you need a powerful power, uh, system when you plan it plan for a good power supply because this is where this is the source of the power for for it so choose wisely this is a great power supply uh, we're gonna use it in our build it has seven years warranty which is very important and um, you know looks good too subscribe uh, leave your comments thanks for watching and see you again soon bye bye now